Hi everyone, it's Terry here from NutsAboutStamping.com. Here it is. It is the brand new mini catalog. That's what Stampin' Up! has changed the name to moving forward. Instead of having a spring catalog or an occasions catalog and a fall catalog or holiday catalog, we're just going to have two minis and one main catalog a year moving forward. This one is called Handmade For You and I'm going to create a birthday card today with the help of some of the new products that are in this catalog. Once this catalog goes live on January 3rd, I can walk you through it and show you my favorites, but until then, Stampin' Up! has asked us not to do that. But what I can do is I can show you some of the new products that I've already purchased. So my card today is going to use one of the bundles in the catalog. It's actually one of the bundles that's featured on the front of the catalog. It's called Painted Poppies and it comes with this stamp set and then it has these dies which are called the Painted Labels dies. Now the interesting thing about this product suite is that it actually has two stamp sets and two sets of framelits and some designer series paper. So let me show you the paper. I think this is absolutely stunning. It's called Peaceful Poppies. And let me show you the patterns. I love the colors. One thing that this new mini does is it right on the page where it shows you the bundle and the papers, it has the color swatches. So you know which colors to purchase to go along with this designer, each designer series paper pack in the catalog. Look at this one, so bright and so bold. This has a couple of my favorite colors in it. I love the Poppy Parade and the Rich Razzleberry and the Blackberry Bliss. It also has Old Olive and Mossy Meadow. It's got lots of colors in it and it's just perfect for spring. So. Let's make a card using these products. My card base is going to be Blackberry Bliss. I've cut it eight and a half by five and a half, scored it on the four and a quarter mark, and it's going to be a portrait layout. I've taken one of the patterns in the designer series paper, and I've cut a piece to go on the front of the card. So let's adhere that next. And then we'll do some stamping and some die cutting. Okay, let me just lay this down here like so. And then I'm going to set it aside for now. And I'm going to bring in some Whisper White cardstock. And to each of those pieces, I'm going to do some stamping. So let's start with the first larger piece. I've got two of the poppies from the stamp set, the painted poppy stamp set, and the leaf image. And so I'm going to ink it up with Memento Jet Black ink, or Tuxedo Black ink, I think it's called. And I'm going to stamp the large poppy. This particular stamp set is perfect if you love to color or watercolor. And I'm going to stamp two leaves. Like so. And that's what I'm going to use my Tuxedo Black ink for. And then on the second piece, I'm going to stamp a phrase. Now, I don't know if you noticed it, but this stamp set has no phrases in it, which is kind of fun because you have lots of images that you can stamp and color, but you can also pair it with a stamp set that you have at home that has your favorite phrases in it, or this is another brand new stamp set in the mini catalog. It's called Sending You Thoughts, and I'm going to use one of the phrases in that set, and I'm going to use my Poppy Parade marker, my Stamp and Write marker, when you color phrases with our markers, you use the side of the marker and just rub the ink on all over. You don't have to press hard. 
And you just rub it gently. And then I'm gonna stamp it in the center of that piece of Whisper White. And now that I have these ready, I'm gonna set this aside for now because these need to be colored. And I am going to use my Stampin' Blends. I've got my Blackberry Bliss, I've got my Mossy Meadow, and I've got my Old Olive. And so I'm going to use these colors because they're the colors in the designer series paper. So I'm going to do a bit of coloring and I'll be back in a moment and I will show you what they all look like ready to go. All right, I decided to go ahead and die cut them out. So each of these flowers has their own die and then the leaves I had to do twice because there's one die. Oh no, actually there's two dies, beg your pardon. There are two dies in this pack so I can color two leaves and die cut them out at the same time. I didn't even realize that so I die cut mine out twice. I used the same die. So I'm gonna just sweep these aside for now and I have this phrase. Now in the same pack, there are these two frames that I think are really cool. So here's what I'm gonna do with them. I'm gonna bring in my die cutting machine and I'm going to put my phrase on and I'm going to use the smaller frame like so. And then I have a scrap piece of Blackberry Bliss cardstock and I'm going to put the second frame on that <laughs> it's a magnetic platform, all right. Whoop, let me turn it this way. Well, I finally figured out a configuration on my magnetic platform that would work for die cutting these out. So let's do that now. And then let's put the card together. All right, here we go. I have everything ready and so let's create a card. So I'm gonna take my phrase and I'm going to ink it up. I'm sorry, I'm going to put adhesive on the back of it and put that in the center like so. And then I am going to lay this across the front of my card. Sort of in the middle, maybe towards, no, oh, in the middle, I think like so. And then I'm going to use some Stampin' Dimensionals for my flowers. Peel off the tails. And I think I'll put the larger flower up near the top. And I'll use one Stampin' Dimensional on the smaller flower. And I'm going to put that on my card like so. And then to attach my leaves, I think I'll just leave them flat. And so I'm gonna use some snail on the back. There we go. And I'll put one leaf like that and the second leaf. So when I colored my leaves, I used both Old Olive and Mossy Meadow because I wanted leaves that look a little bit different than the norm. And I'll put that leaf up there. And there we go. I have a beautiful birthday card idea with the, with the help of my Sending You Thoughts and Painted Poppies stamp sets that are going to be coming to you at the beginning of January and will be available to purchase. For a complete listing of everything I used and the measurements for the layers and also the ordering numbers for these two stamp sets, please head on over to my blog, www.nutsaboutstamping.com. While you're on my blog, make sure you subscribe to my free newsletters. I send a newsletter each week with a project idea that you won't see anywhere else. I'm Terry. I am Nuts About Stamping. I hope you'll create something beautiful today too. Bye for now.